license. I passed my real estate exam in uh, December of 2007 and started with Windermere in 2008. And so when I came into the market, um, it's right after the bubble had burst and we were, um, you know, the, the economy was, was crashing and there was all this doom and gloom. And I came, came into it and quickly realized um, that my biggest priority was earning my clients' trust. I feel like there was a lot of mistrust in the industry um, with real estate and with the lending um, market, and I felt like you know that was my number one priority in real estate was to gain the trust of my clients and really um, let them know that I had their best interests in mind. I learned a lot about um, drilling down and really discovering the why behind um, what we do. Uh, when you go from a place where things are really great to more challenging times, you realize um, the people that are important, um, family, extended family, um, the people who are loyal and continue to be loyal to you through tough times, um, and you, you really value um, finding joy in what you do and having to sometimes really dig for that when it doesn't always feel joyful. <laughs> and um, remembering uh, what you love about it and, and hanging on to the things that you, that are, are your cornerstones, the things that you know to be true. And uh, it made me really value those ideals. It made me value, um, the, like I said, the, the people that Matt and I have surrounded ourselves with over the last uh, 11 plus years. Um, we could not have done that, get gotten through those times without the extended um, support system that we had and the people who were sticking by us through everything. I don't think I'm really, I'm not addressing your recession questions because it's kind of a puzzle to me um, because I really didn't feel it. Uh, you know, I knew it was happening around me, but for me personally in my life and being here at Windermere and doing really well, I was in my own little bubble. Yeah, the recession's been tough, and, and it, like anything, it doesn't have a defined beginning and end. And I think everybody uh, perceives it somewhat differently. You know, I don't think, I think it's a, it's smudgy on the ends. But I can feel us, I don't know about the end of the recession, but I can feel a bump in real estate, a very real bump in real estate. I watch the market pretty closely, and um, it's, it's here, it's now. And as I say, I've got them property that belongs to my daughter and uh, so there's an added responsibility there and uh, this is not a bad time to put it on but two weeks ago she was crying why is this taking so long dad why aren't we on the market all of a sudden I told her okay it happened last weekend and she went why not? you know for me I think um as a newer agent during that time, I kind of fell into the trap of, of some blanket marketing, and I think I even farmed some neighborhoods, and and you know I've realized that's not what it's about. It's not about seeing my you know having my picture in a magazine or on a billboard. It's really about um, the relationships with the clients, and I think that kind of goes back to the trust thing of gaining their trust and their relation, you know, getting a relationship and nurturing those relationships. That stuff doesn't really cost any money. It's saving those marketing dollars on things that, that don't pay off. I came from another company two years ago, and I never thought that the change that I was making would be as uh, dramatic as it has been. I knew it was going to be a good change, um, but with each passing week, each passing month, there's, I get so much out of Windermere, and I want to cry, um, that not only bolsters my business, but it bolsters my life, and um, I'm, I'm learning every day. So um, the, the support that I receive, the education that I receive, um, and the office camaraderie is bar none. Um, I came from a, an agency that had uh, virtually none of that, so it's like night and day. 
and I attribute my success totally to Tanya, Matt, and Elliot. And improve.